a very happy new year to all of you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you the skin rendering hair and jewelry illustration now quickly moving to the product i've used all product links are given in the description you can check it out let's start with the video now so firstly i'll start with drawing the illustration for that i'm using this uh, normal hp pencil and the paper i used here is the brasto watercolor paper which is 300 gsm cold pressed it's a complete freehand drawing guys uh, according to human body proportion Some of my viewers asked me how you draw fashion figures freehandedly. Please show us. Try to include the drawing bar in every of your tutorial. Well, including would make a tutorial lengthy. Okay. You can't just include the drawing part and uh, directly jump to the painting of the outfit. A uh, few would request to add the skin tutorials too. Even talking about this tutorial, it's the most lengthiest video I've ever made uh, where I covered few of the topics and the length as you can see it's 17 minutes and leaving that aside I would definitely add more drawing tutorials on how I draw freehandedly without measurement proportion uh, very soon I'll be uploading if you are comfortable in doing croquis drawing then you must keep practicing that way So here I'll be doing uh, facial features like eyes, ears, nose and lips. After drawing what I do, I erase a bit so that pencil imprint rahe and the reason why I erase it is uh, because the alcohol markers tend to smudge with normal graphite HP pencil so it looks really dirty so I just prefer erasing before coloring it with the marker. So using this Copic Char marker. Uh, and the shade is a barley beige I have mentioned the shade name on the screen uh, to avoid any kind of confusions Likewise, I erase a bit and start coloring it with the marker. Mm -hmm. 
these are skin color pencils from what mart well they don't mention the shade name and it looks peach tone okay if you own any brand color pencils you can use it it's totally fine even i was about to use the maped one but trying to like i kept it somewhere and my whole room is messed up so i need cleaning okay Using this white color pencil from Montmartre uh, for blending the uh, skin color to make it look more realistic. I didn't skip any part uh, while editing this tutorial for you guys uh, so that you guys can get a brief idea on how I usually do my illustrations. Using this brown color pencil from Montmartre and uh, the only thing I love about this pencil is the quality and the pigmentation of this pencil are superbly amazing as compared to my maped ones. Uh, the only thing is it's thicker than normal pencil and it doesn't fit inside a sharpener so I use a blade for sharpening the tips and uh, some of you guys might have noticed that tips of the pencil that it looks really different than other pencils. Lastly, I used a little of this chocolate brown shade from Montmartre for further contouring on selected areas. I used this Shakura Jelly Roll white pen for highlighting and again I used the same white color pencil from Montmartre for blending the excessive highlights on that area. After completing skin rendering, let's just move to the facial feature. Here I'm using this light brown sketch pen from Faber Castle Connector Pen. 
like Montmartre color pencils, these sketches don't mention the shade names. So after using this uh, sketches and color pencil, here I'll be using this black dot pen. Make sure you use a dot one to avoid any smudges or mess. With the help of this black pen, I'll be drawing the eyebrow and the lashes. Now for the lips I use this a warm neutral color sketch pen from Faber Castle for coloring the lips. After that I blended using a peach tone color pencil from Montmartre. At last I used a baby pink sketch pen to give a beautiful nude lip tint. I used a HP pencil for giving definition to the lips, uh, apologizing my mobile holder was constantly dashing to the edges of the sketches and color pencil, that's the reason it was unstable. And for the floral tiara, I used a baby pink color sketch pen from Faber Castell for coloring it and used one tone darker shade for doing the remaining. Again, I used the same light brown color sketch pen for filling the hair gaps as I want this shade to be a base color for hair. Use this black dot pen for giving gentle strokes on hair to make it look realistic and make sure your hand strokes must be gentle not harsh. Moving back to our tiara part, I used some more sketches like green and grey for completing the overall look. Thank you. 
after completing the tiara and hair lastly we'll be doing the jewelry for that i use the same warm neutral shade for coloring the jewelry this is a choker along with the multi layered necklace pairing with the chuma earring and bangles at the end i'll be doing dot wise detailing on the jewelry using shakura jelly roll white pen I hope you find this tutorial useful to like share subscribe and also don't forget to comment down below I'll see you soon with the very next video till the bye take care and thank you so much for watching